Hello everyone, I am going to show you today how to install the profile on your XM terminal and some typical mistakes that um, we make in the beginning. So first off, we're just going to install this profile for this XM global account. Um, this video assumes that you've already been here and you've installed the EA into MetaTrader by following these instructions. And that you've uh, made sure that you've allowed your web request URL for Euronis.ealicense.org so your license works. So we're gonna just go and say, okay, we've got Euronis Scalper installed in our MetaTrader, right? And now we're at the point where you see the broker page for XM, and note these are only XM zero accounts. If you have a standard or a micro, do not trade your onus, it will not perform the same, okay? Um, so now you're here. And here you can see the latest version, whatever it is at this time. We have two profiles, live performance and live sort of a tuned version of XM. And we've done a back test for you. So you can see what the live performance version does and the balance that it achieved. And you can download this back test. And here are the pairs that we've used, okay? And there's a second profile, which is the live 2022 May XM profile which of course looks a little bit more smooth line, smooth and streamlined. Um, I would say it's a little bit more aggressive. And these are the pairs that are used for that profile. And you can download the back test. So we currently offer uh, MT4 and MT5 for XM. So let's first start with the first profile. So we want Profile name, live performance, and we want these pairs, okay? So I'm just gonna copy these pairs, copy them, and I'm gonna go over to my terminal. So this is the first thing that people forget is to make sure you allow the web request URL. So that allows Euronis to get its license. Okay, so the second thing happens is you can pick any um, pair you want. I like GBP USD because it has a lot of ticks. It's a major, time frame doesn't matter. You could pick any time frame. So now it's as simple as dragging Euronis to a chart. Here we're gonna select this profile name, Live Performance. And all these preset symbols, let's just delete them and let's paste in the settings from the other page and remove this plus mark, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so we just paste it in our pairs. I like to change the max orders to five, keep risk percent at five, lots update mode on new trade. And for XM on MT4, let's change the define mode for GMT to manual. And it is on European DST. Everything else is default. You don't need DLL because if you're using a DLL with Euronis, it's not Euronis. And this version is the 1331 by Dennis, our creator, that has been powering Euronis for 13 years. So. If everything looks good, let's hit OK. So a couple of things to show you, because we've made some mistakes. First of all, the license is OK. So this subscription is good for a $3,000 balance. And our lots risk is 5. These are all the comments. Euronis is always going to tell you what it's doing. And you can turn those off if you don't want to watch them by hitting the comments button. You have a couple of other buttons here. Main. This is going to show you the symbols that we're going to trade. Now, if you notice, we only have three symbols, not 
all of the symbols that we just copied, all of these. So we've made a mistake. And how do we find our mistake? So MT4, if we look at our market watch, we can see that these are grayed out and that means they're not available because this is a zero account. So what do we need to do to fix this problem? Two things. One, let's go ahead and turn off that chart. Let's right click and go to symbols. Let's go to 4X, UL, ultra low. All of the symbols, sorry, all of the symbols with the hashtag here should be enabled. Of course, you could do something the easiest way is to just show all, close that, and then you're done. So now let's do it the correct way. Let's go to symbols, ultra low, pick a pair. I like to pick GBP USD, uh, but you know, it could be AUD USD, it doesn't really matter. Now let's drop Euronis on the chart. Again, we're going to select live performance. We're going to paste those symbols that we copied, remove the plus, add five max trades, change this to manual, and DST to EU. Nothing else is required. Everything is fine. One, three, three, one. Hit OK. Now it's done a little bit more than it did last time. And just a note, this orange button here, um, this is just the investor password to this account. So if I had the trading password, it would be green, a green color. So again, license OK. We're trading 5% risk. And now it says we have nine pairs in here. So let's just turn the comments off and hit main. So now we have all the symbols that we traded with. And just to let you know, if you want to press on your keyboard the letter U, you can shrink that text. If you want to press the key I, you can grow that text. If you, if you uh, press zero, it shrinks it that way, or P, it extends it this way. Now, if I can explain this to you, this is your time chart. So this tells you that it is currently the 18th hour of the day, which is three hour GMT offset. So that's why we get 18 plus three is 21. And the green squares tell us when Euronis is trading. So this account, uh, and it keeps coming off, you have to keep pressing it. This tells us that AUDNZD is trading right now. So if we click trades, trades will show us if there are any live trades. But to see if there's any pending orders, we can see we have two pending orders for AUD NZD. Now you have these totals, which will tell you how much in profit you made off of each symbol. And this column here will tell you what the active profit is. You have two columns, chart and close. If we click chart, let's go to the AUDNZD and click the chart. And now this is going to show us where our take profit, our open levels, and our stop losses are on AUDNZD. And this is just a monitoring chart. So you can click M1, H4. You can do anything that you want here. OK, now we click main again. If you click 
the C button. This allows you to close all positions for each pair. So if you want to manually close Euronis, do not close it down here. You can close live positions, not pending orders, with the close button here if there's some available. If you want to close all pending orders, you would turn, you would hit the button here and it would be off. And now again, this is a investor only um, account, so I don't have the trading password for it. So that's our profile for live performance. So now let's change the profile to live 2022 May XM. We're going to copy all of these pairs. Copy. Go to our terminal. Live May XM. Paste. Put the comma everything else the same, and hit OK. Now you have a slightly different profile to trade with. And that's as simple as it is. So if you have any questions, send us a support ticket. But I hope that this has helped everyone set these profiles, know how to do it, um, and make sure that you're using a zero account and no other type for XM. The process is the same for um, any other broker. Uh, probably the next best broker is FX Open. And also FX Open have the same variances live performance, and a May FX Open profile. So they're all the same. Okay, if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.